what are your thoughts on mental health and how that affects how a lot of these kids are, are shooting up places? Do you think we should focus on mental health just as much as we focus on gun control? I think so, man. Um, I have a buddy of mine who works for, uh, I forgot the name of this organization, but it's a mental health organization. And they're saying, he's, their, their philosophy is that so many kids have been placed on various mind control drugs, mind altering yep. drugs, Ritalin, yep. Adderall, uh, whatever else they got out there. And as they get older, they, it, it affects their decision making processes. Big time. Okay. And <sighs> these kids get guns. They mm -hmm. labeled crazy, but they don't have the same emotional faculties that the average person does because that shit kind of erodes after a while. And make you want to do shit. You want it. Put it this way here: If a drug will make you want to kill yourself, if they tell you this is, think about what I'm saying, folks. They tell you in the commercials these drugs may cause thoughts, may cause thoughts of suicide. Okay. Yeah. If a drug would give you thoughts of suicide, don't why ask would me, you? Why would you think it wouldn't want to kill homicide? Okay. Man. Well, I like me today, but I'm gonna kill this son bitch today. OK, and I bet you if you start doing some research and all these so-called uh, mass murders, I bet you you'll find some 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 of those mind altering drugs in the background. Fact, my, dude. my son was prescribed Ritalin as a kid. I remember you saying that. Place. And one day he walked in my room man, and said, Dad, and this is calm. Dad, I said, yeah, what's up, man? I think I want to kill myself. Huh? Mm -hmm. Dude, we would flush that shit immediately, immediately. So if you got a drug that is so mind altering that makes you not care about your life, come on, man. How, man. Would, you, how would you care about anybody else's? They tell you in the commercials. You yeah, they do. If you have thoughts of suicide or self self mutilation, please call this line. It may be too late. <laughs> yep, yep. Damn, dude. I know someone not so close to me, so I can share the story. I just overheard it. someone talking. Uh, that they put their kid on an antidepressant drug because he got depressed that they were having a divorce. I'm like, man, the divorce has been going on for 30, 40, 50, 800 years. You know what I'm saying? We've all been, I've dealt with it, but we've all dealt with divorces. 70% of people in America are dealing with divorces, but now they're shoving a pill down your throat because you're sad that, you know, mom and dad are separating. Yeah. Um, I went through a divorce. I came out. I came out happy to motherfucker. <laughs> hey, two birthdays. You know what I'm saying? Sometime two uh, is. Yeah, I know my I son liked it because he had two. Yeah. I came out doing <laughs> a whole new dance. <laughs> you know, and, but uh, but I, but uh, although it wasn't my daughter, uh, my ex wife daughter, she she went through had some had some problems because I was the only dad she knew, so she had a few little issues. But you know, she got she got over it. Yeah. You know? It's crazy, man. Yeah, let's uh, let's move on. A shout out to the chat. We've gotten up to like eighty four tonight, I think. Um, yes, please sir. hit that like button. If everybody listening right now can hit that like button, that would be so great. So we can get that algorithm out and let everybody know the show is going. Comment in the comments if you have a question. Let us know. Um, let's uh, let's talk about this, Lonzo. Twenty three alleged Bronx gang members were busted after bragging in drill rap songs about shooting at their ops. The latest. You'd think people would get it by now, dude. Again, drugs is a, uh, drugs <laughs> is a hell of a thing, man. Drugs yeah. is a hell of a thing on the mind, okay? And I'm going to bet you, man, I'm going to bet you, when they started posting that dumb shit, they was high as hell, thought they was doing some major shit, and yep. to the, to the, to the folks kicked their dough in, took them, took, they all, took, them, took them all to jail, doc. And this is, this is where, this is obviously, I'm going to bet you, I'm not sure, but I, I, I got money I can put on the table to bet you that there was some drugs involved when they posted this shit. They're trying to prove it, again, trying to prove themselves, okay? You, uh, you can't do nothing these days if nobody don't, you, you can't do, it's, it's no use in doing anything if nobody know you did it, no matter how stupid, no matter how much of a crime it is. It's like you have to take credit for the crime in order to get street credibility. Meanwhile, you're giving the feds information to come bust your ass with this, and you mad yep. people, then you say people snitching on you. Oh, uh, this is some self-snitching self times that we live in. Self-snitching self is the hottest thing going next to uh, 
the next to goddamn eyelashes and weave. Shit, come on, man. <laughs> Man, dude, yeah, man, dropping that game. And you know what? Um, I, I I've talked to uh to OGs on my show, and they would tell me that you know I would I always ask them about social media and how they feel about these you know dudes doing all this shit on social media, and um, a couple of them have told me, and it, it really makes a lot of sense. He said back in the day, graffiti and tattoos were the social media, and he said that's why he one dude told me he never would put his name on the wall because um he would he, you know guys would get pulled over by the cops or whatever, you know, they would obviously ask him, hey, what gang you from? What's your name? And these, oh, I'm such and such. Oh, you're such and such. We see your name all over the wall. Yeah. Then you have a tattoo that match. Then you have a tattoo that matches the name that matches the gang. Next thing you know, you're gang injunction. You get an extra four years just for Everybody, jaywalking. Bam. Bam. So you set yourself up for failure. Then the wonder why you failing. Damn, you took a, you took a class in stupid and you passed. <laughs> <laughs> 